everyone wants to have energetic pets that can act as companion dogs and therapy dogs. If you're one of them, the Poodle and its hybrids are for you. The Poodle is a highly active and fun-loving dog who loves to be around people. With this breed, not a day goes by that you will not laugh because of the ridiculous and funny stunts. This is the main reason why people want to have a Poodle around. Because of their adorable traits, they were paired with various pure breeds to create hybrids. Two of the most famous crosses include the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle. Many are obsessed with their differences. Little do people know that it's also important to understand their similarities so they can determine which one is best for them. Are you ready to see how alike these hybrids are? Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Today, let's look into two of the most sociable pets on the planet, the Golden Doodle and the Labradoodle. What are their similarities and how can this help you care for them? Number 1. They're both calm and affectionate. Both the Golden Doodle and the Labradoodle are calm and even-tempered. They're not likely to resort to aggression even if people hurt them. This makes both these crossbreeds ideal for babysitting. However, you still need to teach your children never to cause discomfort to the dog. Instruct your kids never to play rough towards the pooches, to not pull their tail, ears, and hair. This is essential so they can build a stable and loving relationship with the dog. Number 2. Both are highly intelligent. These creatures have very high intellect. The Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle both possess the initiative to help, especially their family members. Both these dogs need a purpose in life. It's your responsibility to give it to them. Once you accustom them to your lifestyle and establish a bond, you don't need to command them everything. They can feel when they need to help, and they can think about the proper ways to do so. Number 3. Popular with Allergy Sufferers This is the main reason why people use the Poodle to raise these hybrids. Breeders wanted to create an intelligent dog that possesses the hypoallergenic nature of the Poodle. However, there's no guarantee that the Labradoodle or the Golden Doodle will grow up with hypoallergenic fur. There are instances when they develop a thicker and denser coat like the Labrador and the Golden Retriever. This lies solely on inheritance or genetics. Number 4. Easy to Train Aside from their intelligence, these creatures are also easy to train. This is why the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle work as service dogs in shelters, geriatric homes, nursing homes, and mental health institutions. They can be trained as therapy dogs, seeing dogs, and hearing dogs. If you ever need a pet who can watch over you, these two poodle hybrids are for you. Number 5. They are almost the same in size. The size of the Golden Doodle and the Labradoodle depends if the poodle parent used for breeding is miniature, standard, or large. On average, larger hybrids can grow from 21 to 24 inches high. Miniatures, on the other hand, can grow from 14 to 16 inches high. Lastly, standards grow somewhere in the middle, around 17 to 19 inches high. Depending on your preference, you can choose the size of your pooch by knowing the size of their parents. Number 6. Health and Lifespan Since these dogs are part poodle, they may inherit the common health issues possessed by the breed. This includes hip dysplasia, allergies, eye conditions, and narrowing of the aortic valve. Despite these, both the Golden Doodle and the Labradoodle can live up to 15 years, which makes them ideal for long-term companionship. Can you imagine how many years of happiness and service they can offer you and your family? Number 7. They are not born watchdogs. Both the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle are socially inclined. Unlike other dogs, these poodle hybrids will welcome strangers with wagging tails and happy eyes. This is why they're not ideal in violent and unstable environments. If you're in these areas, it's better to get a watchdog who can provide the security you need. Number 8. They don't do well in apartments. The Golden Doodle and the Labradoodle are both very active dogs. They don't adapt much inside apartments or other confined spaces. Instead, they prefer areas where they can run freely. If you live in a house with a fenced yard, your pooch will be more than happy to play joyfully and actively. This is essential so they can expend their energy 
and prevent getting bored. It prevents them from resorting to destructive activities, such as chewing and digging. Number 9. They need constant exercise. Like any other dog, these two require at least 30 minutes of exercise daily. This keeps their body healthy and their minds stimulated, especially if you live in apartments or confined areas. You need to take your dog out regularly for runs or walks, or else they get bored and restless. According to expert handlers, dogs who experience regular doses of activity are more fit. They're less likely to develop illnesses. Plus, they're happier and more satisfied with their lives. So, if you plan to get a Labradoodle or a Golden Doodle, make sure you can provide a reasonable amount of time for their exercise needs. It's one of the first steps to becoming a responsible dog owner. Number 10. Grooming them is easier. Despite what people say, the Golden Doodle and the Labradoodle are easy to groom. However, you need grooming tools to accomplish this, such as specialized combs, brushes, and clippers. If you can't do it all by yourself, you can contact your nearest parlor and have their coat managed. Experts recommend learning how to groom your dog all by yourself. This way, you can save more. Plus, you can avoid the hassle of taking your dog to the parlor. Remember to give them regular baths, clean the areas surrounding their eyes, trim their nails, and comb their hair. Caring for both these dogs usually ranges from $400 to $700. However, this amount could be lessened, provided you care for their needs. For this, you might need the assistance of a reliable veterinarian, so he can suggest activities and supplements that can help boost their overall health. There you have it. These are some of the similarities between the Golden Doodle and the Labradoodle. Do you think you can raise one or both of these hybrids? If so, there's no stopping you in getting a long-term companion that will love and care for you unconditionally. Thanks for watching. Have you figured out which dog to get? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Also, please like the video if you find the video is useful. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more to come. And we'll see you next time.